We are still just in the beginning stages of understanding how ecological interactions that occur in the immature stages of mosquitoes affect traits of adults that might be important to disease transmission. Some of the conditions that might influence adult traits that would actually occur during the immature stages would be temperature, uh, crowded conditions, competition, competition for uh, nutrients, also predators. We really started to take more of an approach than an ecologist might take and really look at interspecific and intraspecific competitive interactions between mosquito species. We're working on the mosquito species that are the most important vectors of dengue virus and in terms of viruses uh, transmitted by mosquitoes, dengue virus is one of the most important ones. The World Health Organization suggests that there are 50 to 100 million cases of dengue fever every year. A paper in Nature came out in 2013 that indicated that the World Health Organization may be underestimating it. And it was a very comprehensive paper that indicated that the number of cases may be more on the upwards of 390 million cases per year. Every year there are imported cases of dengue virus all over the United States, many of which come to Florida. And in recent years, Florida has seen that there has been some local transmission. So we're thinking that dengue virus is um, re-emerging and it may become part of the Florida landscape. There's not a current effective vaccine. And so the way to, um, to control dengue virus is to control the mosquito vectors. We need to understand this basic research so we can have better predictive power as well as if we understand the biology behind the mosquito and its interactions with viruses, then we can harness that information to better deploy effective control strategies.